The use of mercury in the mining sector has been very common among artisanal small and medium scale miners for decades. However, exposure to mercury over a prolonged period has detrimental effects on the human body and the environment. And with Guyana signing and ratifying the Minimata Convention on Mercury, GGMC Commissioner Newell Dennison noted that efforts have to be put in place to reaffirm its commitment. This is where the Riven Mineral Recovery System, also called the Marocker, comes in. He explained in a recent interview that the system will be pilot tested for a period of 12 months and could possibly see a higher yield in mineral recovery with a significant reduction in the use of the toxic chemical in the process. The GGMC has recognized, as other stakeholders have recognized, that mercury is bad business in so many different ways. We know all the health issues that are associated with it and we know that in the scheme of things, we still have to respond to the Minamata Convention that Guyana has been, well, Guyana has signed on to that and it's become a very potent force for us to go and ensure that we make as much effort as we can to treat with the issue of mercury. So very important, super important. Um, but we can't take it in isolation. Dennison explained that for years, the GGMC has continued to test variant technologies to aid the transition to mercury-free gold mining, especially for small and medium-scale miners. One major deterrent to those miners, he noted, was the high cost to procure and apply the technology. But with the cost of the new technology being shared by the GGMC, the Guyana Gold and Diamond Miners Association, along with the government, the commissioner stated that miners are more receptive to the transition to mercury-free technologies. We do not expect that today we're going to be working with mercury and wake up tomorrow and there will be no mercury. And we do not anticipate that even this methodology, this particular um, system that we're going to test and implement for whatever outcomes we might have, or hopefully positive outcomes, we're not going to pretend that that is going to be the silver bullet. But we recognize that it's important that we must move from point A to point B and make incremental steps to achieve the outcome that we're looking for, which is at some stage very soon to have a serious decrease in the use of mercury in our recovery circuits and the adoption of non-mercury methodologies in general. The Marocca is essentially a continuous mineral recovery system using minimal water, no chemicals with a reduced chemical footprint. It was explained that the technology has a high recovery of fine and flat gold particles that are usually harder to extract using mercury. An added benefit, Denison added, is that the new system will help to produce the sought-after pure gold, which carries a higher price on the market, and this translates to increased profits to miners. Once the pilot test phase is over, Denison said the Marocca will be deployed and available for use in the mining sector. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.